Hey, what's happening everybody? It's a warm and uh, sunny day today coming to you here from uh, Arizona and uh, doing some uh, tuning on the Banshee today and I thought I would take you guys along and show you how I synchronize the key and PWK carburetors for uh, Yamaha Banshee and uh, this has been um, uh, a process for me of a lot of trial and error to try to figure out what works the best uh, for doing this process. This is a very critical thing to do on your Banshee. Um, this video I'm going to specifically be, be, this has to do with the PWK carburetors. Stock carburetors are a little similar, but they are different. It's a different process. So if you've got stock carburetors, uh, go watch a stock carburetor synchronization video so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into it so this is uh, the setup that I'm running right now to do this is I've got a little Harbor Freight blower this is something important to do uh, when you're uh, setting the idle sink and the mid-range sink or the cable sink it's really important to have one of these to keep the engine cool I've tried doing it without one of these and it's just a it's it's crazy you know you're you're worried about overheating the motor and you're constantly watching the uh, the thermostat so get yourself one of these <clears throat> and uh, so basically you you have a, a um, you know a set of PWK carburetors I guess uh, I'll, I'll kind of start off the reason why I'm doing this today I had uh, installed a brand new throttle cable and uh, come to find out I assumed which is something you never do on these is that you know my synchronization was good well come to find out I you know I was having some some trouble with uh, the low end and the way it was running and uh, so I you know pulled the pulled the filters off and looked and yeah they were they were out of sync the carburetors were out of sync so um, just gonna talk just real quick about the synchronization it's this is super and super super important to do i have blown up motors because i i had one cylinder that was not equal with the other and what happens in that is you're going to overheat one side and you know you'll burn down one side so you'll overheat the motor it won't run right um and then i think what a lot of, and this is something that i did when i was yet when i was new you know i thought it was a jetting issue that i was having and it really wasn't a jetting issue it was a synchronization issue so this is really the first place that um, i recommend you start with your banshee is making sure and verifying that the carburetors are synchronized so i think i kind of beat that uh beat that down so okay so let's just go um um, I'm gonna I have a bunch of things I want to talk about up at the thumb throttle but um, down here the very first thing I do is you want to back out your idle screws on the carburetors so that the slides are bottoming out you don't want any pressure on the slide so um, that's the very first thing you do um, bottom out the slides back off the um, the idle screws and then um, what I do is uh, I'm, I, I set the um, cable uh, up here to um, about, you know, the 1 8 free play that you're supposed to have. So get, get some, take the slack out of the cable. And then I just do a visual on the, uh, on the slides to, to try to get them by eye uh, close, to, close to each other. And then I'm also making sure that the slides get a different a little different angle here with the GoPro but uh, making sure that the slides they open all the way so this is uh, something else that's you know super important so you want to make sure that um, your slides are opening all the way and so you'll you'll do your adjusters uh, up here on the top um, to verify that they're opening all the way you know I don't have mine totally bottomed out like at the top I've got a little bit of slack a little bit of play at top you know and that's okay because I don't run this bike you know wide full open throttle um, so it's I don't think it's super critical that the, the when you, they're totally maxed out and bottomed out on the top so okay so that's uh, pretty much what I do with that step and then we'll go up here to the thumb throttle I'm going to talk about this up here so up here at the thumb throttle what I have found that works well well is a socket 
This is a quarter drive socket that I'm using. I've got a spring clamp and this is kind of what I've found to work good. So what I do is I uh, loosen up the slack here in your, in your adjustment here. So you've got some slack, put the socket in and then um, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust it a little bit here to where I can get the, um, then I'll fire the bike up and then adjust it here to get the RPM where I like it and then tighten this down so it doesn't vibrate loose on you. Okay, another super thing here with thumb throttles. This thumb throttle I'm using, this is a, off a of Honda TRX 400 and it's got a TRX 90 thumb throttle lever on it. They're a little longer than the stock ones. And so I've had to take a, a Dremel and um, open up, you know, open up the, uh, the housing here so I can get full, uh, full throttle on it. And, you know, when you're running these, these PWKs, if you've got a stock Yamaha Banshee thumb throttle, you're going to have to do this as well. So uh, you're definitely going to want to get yourself, you know, every, every Banshee owner should have one of these. This is a cordless Dremel with uh, a bunch of different, you know, uh, bits on it. I've got a drum sander on it here. I was actually just doing a little bit of sanding on it to clean some things up. But uh, this is kind of, this is what I use. And then, um, you know, I, I think typically you should try to just... I've got mine about maximum right now that I can go on it, but this is something else that's important, you know, when you're having issues with um, getting the slides to open all the way, you know, with your uh, cable and everything. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you've got enough opening there. So uh, you may need to do a little bit of trimming and, uh, and sanding on that. Um, so I think that covers the thumb throttle. And so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to run in the idle screws and just visually look from behind and I'm just going to count. Uh, I do half turns when I count. So um, I'll, I'll run it in until I can visually see when, where the idle uh, screw uh, just starts to move the slide up. And then, um, and then I'll find that and then I'll just count in. I'll do like two turns in as a starting point on each carburetor. Another little trick too that I do is on the inside carburetor where it's kind of difficult to reach the um, the idle screw I've got a small little uh, screwdriver here this is a great screwdriver this is a, a still power equipment um, screwdriver and this is what I use to adjust air screws with because it's it, it's really small and you can get in into these tight places but what I do is I angle this carburetor I angle it slightly so that I can get a screwdriver in here like this and um, and turn the idle screw. So it, it just, you know, it just makes for, yes, you can use your finger if you want, but it's, again, you know, it's a little bit tricky. I just found this method uh, to work the best for me. So once I, um, I get the uh, idle screws in a little bit, then I'll go ahead and kick it over. And then um, I'll probably, I'm feathering the, the thumb throttle, you know, while I've got my screwdriver here and I'm, you know, I'm working this in so I can get a nice idle on it. Um, okay, so I don't think I've talked about this. This tool right here, if you don't have one, you've got to get one. The, this is non-negotiable. You have to have one of these to get your Banshee tuned. Um, again, I have, I have burned motors down because, you know, I've done the whole, well, you can do it by eyeball and you can visually, no, you can't. Um, I'm going to stand up here and say you cannot. You cannot get it by visual. You have to use one of these. You will be surprised how far you're off when you eyeball it. So get yourself one of these. You can buy them on eBay. You can get them fast racing, I think, sells them. Um, and so, uh, you know, they've got different size ones you can get to. So, yeah, this is a, a synchrometer. You definitely have to have one of these. So... So then I'll do that, then I'll just stick it in here and I'll get a nice, uh, I think right now I'm about six CFM cubic feet per minute is at my idle, is what I set my idle at on this motor. Um, so once I get my idle set, then I'll, um, and I'm happy with that. And, um, you know, I'll usually kind of let the motor cool a little bit before, you know, when I go to the next step, which is going to be sinking the, um, sinking the cable or the, you know, the mid-range sink as some people like to refer to it. So when I get ready for that, then I'll do my I'll do all my adjustments and stuff up here. Get this ready up here for for doing the doing the cable, the cable sink, fire it up, and then um, this is where this job is a really pain in the ass. Okay, sinking the cable is the most difficult part of doing this, and I've done it you know several times, and it's just you know to try to get it just dialed in perfectly, 
So these are equal with each other. It's a pain in the ass. So just uh, be patient with it. Take your time, you know, and um, but I think if you follow some of these steps, it's going to really help you. Um, and then you're going to want to have a, you know, get your, you know, your wrenches and stuff handy. Um, it's a 10 millimeter nut and a 5 16 is what I have. And then I'm also, okay, that's the other thing, the adjusters too. If you don't have, these are extended adjusters. Okay, these are not the stock ones that come. The stock ones are brass color. These ones are, uh, these are, these are taller adjusters. You know, Redline Racing has them, Fast Racing, probably get them on eBay as well. You're definitely going to want to have these. The, st the, the stock ones are not going to open the slides all the way. So you're going to want to make sure you have those. Um, uh, so, so yeah, and then, um, so like I said, it's, you know, you're just going to have to be patient. You want to tighten these down. I kind of finger tighten them. And then once I get it to where I like them, I'll, I'll finger tighten it and then I'll shut the motor down and then I'll, and I'll take a wrench and tighten everything up. And then I'm also, uh, one of the other things I do when I'm doing this, I'll double check things. I'll triple check things. I'll triple check it to make sure, which I'm about ready to do now. I'm about ready to go and triple check it to make sure that the mid-range sink is where it needs to be. Because this is such a real, you know, it's such, it's a, it's a very critical to get this right. And I know when I was new, new to the game, new to the Banshees and stuff, I, I didn't know what I was doing. So, uh, but I've, I've had to learn, uh, you know, through, uh, uh, through, uh, through, through the years, but, um, uh, so, so yeah, I think this is uh, going to wrap up um, carburetor synchronization. And, you know, if I have left something out that uh, you think is important, uh, please comment below. You know, this is all, um, I, I do these, I make a video like this to help people and to, you know, just offer a guide.